With two new positions being added to the Lee County School Board, candidates are preparing their 2016 run. Three candidates attended the BUPAC meeting today at Florida Southwestern College with one of them, Charles Daly, surrounded in controversy. I, I think kids must come first. That's first and foremost. Former Lee County School District employee Charles Daly addressing issues including computerized testing, class size, and censorship during an hour-long speech. Because of that issue. That's who I am. Oh. You ask me, and I'll tell you the truth. But Daly's history with the school district is one filled with controversy. You might remember the district removed Daly from his position as the West Zone Transportation Director after a Fox 4 investigation showed bus drivers under his watch using buses to run personal errands. He also made the news when he broke his leg during a fight with a co-worker at a Fort Myers golf course. Do you think that's going to have any sort of impact on your running for the board? Well, I, I, think, I think the voters will, hopefully they will recognize or they, they will come to know that with controversy means change. It means change. And that means that I'm not afraid to step up and say those hard things. Most recently, Daly retired in April from Dunbar Community School the same day the district confirmed an investigation at the school involving a testing infraction. What was the result of that testing infraction investigation? Uh, I'm not aware of it. I was not involved with that testing piece. I was outside of that, uh, out of that investigation. Daly says his retirement was his choice so he could run for school board. Is Charles Daly misunderstood? Uh, let me ask you this question. Do you think, after hearing me today, that Charles Daly is misunderstood? Voters will have the final answer to that question come election day. In Fort Myers, Mark Jackman, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, still